This is a CBS News special report. I'm Jeff Glor reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. Good afternoon. We are about to hear from the president as news is breaking in the investigation of bombs sent to prominent Democrats and critics of the president. Late this morning, an arrest was made. Let's listen in on the president. Thank you. What a great honor to have you. Thank you. It is a great, great honor to have you in the White House. Thank you very much. They call this, as you know, this is young black leadership, and it's the summit. And to have you here is truly uh, my privilege. And we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to talk. We're going to meet. But, but before, before I do, I'd like to begin and you are leaders, That's a, you're real leaders. I'd like to begin today's remarks by providing an update on the packages and devices that have been mailed to high-profile figures throughout our country and a media organization. I am pleased to inform you that law enforcement has apprehended the suspect and taken him into custody. It's an incredible job by law enforcement. We've carried out a far-reaching federal, state, and local investigation to find the person or persons responsible for these events. These terrorizing acts are despicable and have no place in our country. No place. I've instructed authorities to spare no resource or expense in finding those responsible and bringing them to swift and certain justice. And we will prosecute them, him, her, whoever it may be, to the fullest extent of the law. We must never allow political violence to take root in America. Cannot let it happen. And I'm committed to doing everything in my power as president to stop it. And to stop it now. To stop it now. I have just concluded a briefing with the Department of Justice following the apprehension of the suspect. I want to applaud the FBI. Secret Service, the Department of Justice, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, the NYPD, and all law enforcement throughout the entire country, incredible partners. These people have worked so hard, and to have done it so quickly, it's looking like a, uh, you're looking, it's a needle in a haystack. How do you do this so quickly? They've done an incredible, incredible job, and I want to congratulate them. <laughs> But a bottom line is that Americans must unify, and we must show the world that we are united together in peace and love and harmony as fellow American citizens. There is no country like our country, and every day we are showing the world just how truly great we are. So you are really very special people. I wanted to say that before our little talk. And uh, I appreciate the time you've given me. And boy, one, one day, one of you is going to be standing. It could be three or four of you, actually. But you're going to be standing right here. You're going to be standing right here. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Who, who in this room, who in this room wants to be president someday? So it's an ambitious group. It's an ambitious group. That's great. Anyway, thank you all very much. I really appreciate it. For the media, thank you very much. Uh, I thought I'd do that. And uh, we feel very strongly. Uh, again, congratulations to all law enforcement. We have the best in the world, and they just showed it. Thank you very much. Okay, there's the president so congratulating law enforcement on the arrest following the series of packages and uh, pipe bombs that uh, the arrest that was made this morning. You're looking at a video right now of a van uh, that was apparently owned by the man who's been arrested. His name is Caesar Sayak, uh, 56 years old, born in 1962. He uh, was a resident of Florida, had a, has a criminal record in Florida, does have ties to New York. There's a picture of him 
uh, right now. Uh, he was taken into custody uh, just after 10 o'clock this morning in Plantation, Florida. We are told by law enforcement he had no one else with him. A flashbang uh, was used at that time to distract him before he was taken into custody. As they move the van that this SIOC was apparently using, you can, you can see they've covered it with, it with a tarp since, but it's clear, as you can see on the van, there's stickers covering most of the windows. There's stickers of President Trump on there, of Vice President Mike Pence. Uh, there are stickers supporting U.S. soccer. Uh, there's another one there that just said, my president. Um, so more evidence uh, for what investigators are still looking into this morning. This is now 12 packages that apparently have been sent to 10 different targets. The latest targets include uh, former National Intelli Director of National Intelligence James Clapper and also New Jersey Senator Cory Booker. That follows packages that were sent earlier this week to former President Obama, uh, former Secretary of State Clinton. You're seeing the full map up on the screen right now. Former Vice President Biden, former CIA Director John Brennan, which was, that package was sent to CNN. Former Attorney General Eric Holder, California Congresswoman Maxine Waters, and also philanthropist George Soros, uh, who's a, uh, been a huge Democratic donor, and also uh, actor Robert De Niro. So again, 12 packages sent to 10 different targets. Law enforcement sources zeroed in on Florida last night, and now they made this arrest this morning. And then you have the president just commenting on what has happened here in Congress. The president said uh, this case would be fully prosecuted. Um, again, the person arrested today in Plantation, Florida, is Caesar Sayoc, 56 years old. David Begno is in Plantation, Florida, where this arrest was made. Uh, David, what are, you, what are you hearing and seeing there? So, Jeff, I'm standing in the AutoZone parking lot. This is where the van was parked. And according to our reporting and an eyewitness who we spoke to, there was a flashbang that was used to distract the suspect and take him into custody. We're told it happened without incident. The van was literally parked here. I'm going to bring you up to our telling story. Yes, uh, there is a strong media group here and inside of the store right now. Uh, if I can actually get right up on the glass, uh, there are two FBI agents inside right now. There's a female agent and a male agent. They are both standing in front of a computer, and they have been active on that computer for the last, I'd say, 45 minutes or so. There have been three AutoZone employees who have gone through the door, and they are being questioned right now by the FBI. I actually walked inside the store about 45 minutes or so when the crime scene tape was talking down, taken down, and I was immediately asked to, to walk out and give them some more time. The question now is, did the man come here regularly, or was he coming here to buy some of the supplies that he was using. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you that what we know, Jeff, is that the man lived uh, reportedly in Aventura, which is about 30 minutes away from here, and from Aventura, the Opalaka mail facility, where those packages uh, may have gone out of, where the FBI was searching, is about 30 minutes from Aventura. So it's roughly a half mile between everything, the auto zone, his home, and that Opal Opalaka facility. Where we are, the auto zone is in a neighborhood area, uh, busy street right here. But for the most part, it's doctor's offices, uh, health clinics, auto dealerships, and it was very quiet in this area. I gotta tell you, the FBI reportedly moved in quickly, made the arrest, no issues, no problems. All right, David Begno. David's outside the AutoZone store where this arrest was made. Again, Caesar Sayak, a 56-year-old who uh, was living in Florida, has a criminal record in uh, Broward County, but also does have ties to New York. He has been arrested in connection with these 12 different packages that have been sent to 10 different targets to folks around the country. You're taking a look at the van right now, which is covered in that blue tarp. That is outside the FBI Miami field offices. They put that, they loaded it on a truck there have been in transporting it for the last, oh, hour and 15 minutes or so at time at one point the tarp actually blew off and they had to stop in the middle of the road and, and put it back on but we've all been noticing all of these stickers there there's a shot of the tarp coming off as they uh, bring it along the highway there but the stickers basically cover every window of this white van and most of them uh, it would appear are are political in nature jeff pegues is in our dc bureau with more information jeff what do you have
Yeah, Jeff, I was looking at the, taking a close look, in fact, at the pictures on that van, and what I noticed uh, is something that you pointed out, pictures of uh, President Trump, Vice President Pence, but also pictures of Democrats mired in a swamp. Uh, and so I thought that was interesting, given what we've been hearing from investigators, uh, the nature of what they've been finding out in terms of who was targeted with these suspicious devices. Uh, you see some of the images there. You have images of Hillary Clinton as well. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, Cory Booker, uh, of course, Cory Booker, one of the packages was addressed to Cory Booker. We found that out today. And so investigators, that's why they're taking that van uh, into that FBI garage, because that is now a piece of evidence. What investigators will want to know is what was happening in that van, were some of the devices constructed there uh, as they build this case against this suspect. And Jeff, what I also thought was interesting was what the president was saying. He didn't say that this investigation is concluded. You know, I thought it was notable that he said, you know, we are going to prosecute whoever it may be. And then he said him, her, them, uh, which I thought was interesting. Is he suggesting that there could be other people out there connected to this? We just don't know. And those are questions that we'll have to ask uh, the attorney general at this press conference, which is scheduled for 2.30. Uh, also worth noting, the president sent out a tweet uh, not long before this arrest was made saying, quote, uh, Republicans are doing so well in early voting and at the polls, and now this quote-unquote bomb stuff happens, bomb capitalized, and the momentum greatly slows. News not talking politics, very unfortunate what's going on. Republicans go out and vote. There's the tweet that was sent, um, oh, sorry, so it's 719 a.m. If that is an Eastern time date stamp, then uh, that would have been, oh, about three hours before, a little over three hours before this arrest was made. We should remind everyone there is also uh, a presser uh, from the Department of Justice. They're going to be holding a news conference at 2.30 this afternoon, uh, which is um, only an hour and 45 minutes from now, which we should uh, be getting some more information on, on this arrest, again, of Caesar Sayoc, the 56-year-old who was arrested in Florida. Um, now being questioned by the FBI as his van, which again you see there uh, on the right, is taken to the FBI Miami field office. We are still gathering information on all of this after this arrest was made. Again, the first package appeared Monday night, then more on Wednesday morning, more yesterday, and then the latest uh, went to the former director of national intelligence, James Clapper, and then also New Jersey Senator Cory Booker. We don't know if more packages are currently in the mail. We are going to have a lot more about all of this, this investigation on your local news on this CBS station, on our streaming news service, CBSN, and of course right here tonight on the CBS Evening News. But to recap, once again, an arrest has been made after this string of bombings or bomb, bomb packages that have been sent. None of them went off. No one has been hurt. Uh, but they do have a man in custody by the name of Caesar Sayak, a Florida resident. There he is once again, has criminal ties to New York. We're going to have a lot more all afternoon long. And then, of course, throughout the evening, we'll keep watching this. I'm Jeff Glor, CBS News in New York.